Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of square cone in Autodesk Inventor Sheet Metal. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, go to sheet metal part 8 millimeter, millimeter and go to create. Now go to 2D sketch and we will select the exit plane this will be the top plane now go to rectangle command and we will select two point center rectangle and select the center point here we will give the dimensions 120 tab 120 ok <clears throat> now we want to give radius at the edges so go to fillet Take a fillet of 12 mm and select these edges, select this line, select first and then second, similarly here, ok. Now exit from this command, now finish command, ok. Now go to origin and select the exit plane. This will be top plane. So go to plane command and go to offset from plane. Now select the exit plane and give an offset of 125 mm. Okay. So this will be a new plane at 125 mm. <coughs> now select this plane and go to create sketch and again go to rectangle command and go to two point center rectangle and here make a rectangle of 25 tab 25 ok now go to fillet and take a fillet of 3 mm select the edges ok and this will be the last now finish sketch and go here to finish sketch ok <clears throat> now we will select the lofted flange command and we will select the profile 1 as this and profile 2 as this profile ok from here we can take it die formed or you can take it this we can take die form and ok Now you can hide this, select this, right click and switch off the visibility. Now as this is closed profile, so you can't open the sheet metal part. To make it open, go to home, we will select the front plane, the XY plane and go to create sketch. Okay. Now just go to project geometry and select the side edge. This will be a projected geometry. Go to home. This will come here. Okay. And now finish sketch. Now go to rip command. Go to rip. And from here select this face and select this end point. Okay. And apply. Now there will be cut of sheet thickness due to rip command and exit this. Now to make a whole profile over here, you can see the whole profile. So this is a taper hole. To make this, we will select the uh, we will select the side plane. So go to YZ plane. Go to create sketch. <clears throat> now go to line command and make a taper line over here and go to dimensions. From here to here, this will be a dimension of 100 mm, and from here to here, 
this will be of 40 mm and the angle from top will be of 15 degree okay now go to view change the view to wireframe and go to sketch now we will see the midpoint of this line so go to uh, vertical constraint or go to horizontal constraint so this is the midpoint as it's blinking green select this midpoint and select this center point so this line is fully constrained now here you can see the fully constrained now finish sketch rotate the view now we will make a new plane over here so go to plane select this end point and select this line okay <coughs> Now select this plane and go to create sketch and from here select the circle command ok first go to project geometry and click on this point so a point will be projected here now go to circle command and make a circle on this point of dia 20 mm ok now finish sketch now you can change the view back to shaded so go back to shaded with edges now go to 3d model and go to extrude command select this profile and flip the direction and drag it outwards now go to cut command and rotate it you can see this is a taper cut this hole is straight and this is a taper hole and ok now you can switch off the visibility of this hole select this right click and turn off the visibility similarly select this and turn off the visibility and visibility of this line select this sketch and turn off this visibility now you can give the color from here you can give any color so I will select the yellow color to make the flat pattern from here go to sheet metal and go to create flat pattern now you can see the flat pattern of this so this was a basic tutorial go back to fold it this was a basic tutorial to how to make a square cone in autodesk inventor with its flat pattern i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you